Today's video lesson is on parallel lines and transversals. Please title your page in your math notebook, Parallel Lines and Transversals. Here are some examples of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. A parallel line is lines in the same plane that do not intersect. For example, Figure B, these are parallel lines, and we can tell that they're parallel with these little arrows right here, matching arrows on each line. We also know about perpendicular lines. The lines in figure A are perpendicular lines because they intersect at right angles. Pause the movie, copy these definitions, and write down these figures into your notes. In addition to understanding parallel and perpendicular lines, we want to understand what a transversal is. A transversal is a line that intersects two parallel lines. I can see these two lines are parallel because of the arrows here, and this transversal here is a line that crosses through. What happens when we have a transversal of parallel lines is that it creates a lot of corresponding angles. For example, this purple circle here and this purple circle here, those are corresponding angles and they are congruent. These two blue lines here and these two blue lines here are corresponding angles and also congruent. Same with these three greens, these three greens, corresponding and congruent, and the four reds, four reds, corresponding and congruent. Pause the movie now, copy the definition of transversal, and then copy this image of corresponding angles created by this transversal into your notes. So in this problem, they want us to find the measures of angle 1, measures of angle 1, and measures of angle 2. So this is like putting a puzzle piece together. We want to look at what we have. We know that these two lines are parallel, so this makes that line a transversal. I know that 1 corresponds to this angle 110. So I could say that the measure of angle 1 is 110. Now, this 2 is tricky. There's a couple ways I can go about 2. I know that 2 is a corresponding angle to this missing piece. Well, I know that this piece here creates a straight line, which is 180 degrees. If I already have 110, I know that I'm only missing 70 degrees. Since these are corresponding angles, I know that angle 2 would be 70 degrees. Copy this problem into your notes. Try this problem on your own. Push play when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. We know that these two lines are parallel, so that this line here makes a transversal. So these are corresponding angles. Since 63 and 1 are corresponding, I know that the measure of angle 1 is 63 degrees. Well, how about the measure of angle 2? We know that this 63 degrees and this 2 make a nice straight line, and a straight line is 180 degrees. If I subtract 63 degrees, which is what number 1 is right here, from that total of 180, I can see that angle 2 is 117 degrees. Check your notes and see how you did. If you made a mistake, Go back and fix it. Now our puzzles get even more challenging. There's two more words we need to know. Interior angles and exterior angles. 
So when I look at this image to the right, I can see that 3, 4, 5, and 6 are interior angles, because they're on the inside, and then 1, 2, 7, 8 are exterior angles. Okay, so they're either on the inside of the parallel lines or the outside of parallel lines. Pause the movie and write these definitions and this image into your notes. So how do we use these? We know that there are corresponding angles when given parallel lines. Again, a parallel line cut by a transversal. How might we figure out what each of these angles are? Well, I'm going to go ahead and list them first. And once again, it's like filling out a puzzle piece. So I know that this angle is 75. So its corresponding angles from here would be 6. So I know that 6 is also going to be 75 degrees. I also know that this interior angle, this alternate interior angle, 4, is also going to be 75 degrees. What else can I figure out? These exterior angles here, like 1, is also 75 degrees. I wonder if I'm missing anything. Well, we can go back and check it later. So let's move on. I know if angle 1 is 75 degrees, if I take this whole straight line, which is 180, subtract the 75, I know that angle 2 here is 105. Well, angle 2 has a corresponding angle of 5, so I also know that angle 5 is 105. And 5 and 3 are alternate interior angles, so if 5 is 105, so is 3. And then these are exterior angles, 2 and 7. So if 2 is 105, so is 7. So what we're really seeing is that these parallel lines create a series of corresponding angles, where when we find one out, like the 75, we can kind of backtrack and solve to figure out what the other ones are. Pause the movie and copy this example into your notes. Try this one on your own. We will check your notes in class tomorrow. There's one more after this. Okay, last problem. Look at the figure below. It's an airport. The measure of angle four is 84 degrees. We want you to find angle three, five, and six. Bring your answers to class tomorrow.